Hello and thank you for choosing Dixons of Perth to purchase your Buccaneer caravan. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of, kind of, of all the key features on the caravan. So we'll start on the outside. I've got the gas locker open. It's set up for propane gas cylinders. Okay, and you can carry two in there. Um, you've got also got your jack in there. One of the important things when you connect the caravan to your car, make sure on the ATC for the electronic braking system, it's hard to see because we're but it should be a green light here. Flashing green, solid green is fine. Red, solid, red flashing, do not drive. There is a problem with the electronic braking system. Okay. If we come around to the front corner here, we have an external barbecue point here. We have an external locker. In this external locker, we have a mains plug socket and an external TV point. Okay. Down here, we have the weights of the caravan and also your tire pressures are on the bottom of the plate. Okay. Coming further along under the bed, we have an external locker, which gains access into there with all your fitted carpet kit and the internal water tank, as you can see in there. Coming around to the rear, I still have to fit your number plate, but I won't forget before I tow it across. On the opposite side, we've got your toilet cassette, release lever for the toilet cassette here. Take the cassette out, slide the arm round, unscrew the cap, press the button, the orange button there, and that will release the contents. Back end, screw cap on, close away. Coming down to this external locker, a couple of things you need to do about here. Our leisure battery is in here. Our mains hookup point. We've got an external uh, socket and a, an external plug-in for a satellite. If you're on a site with a satellite TV connection, plug in there. Also, we have the isolator for our motor mover. When this is turned on, okay, you must turn the remote on within, I think it's about 30 seconds. Otherwise, the systems don't sync together and you just have to start the process again, okay? Also on this side, we've got our connection for a wheel system and you've also got an external trim out shower point. Okay, that there is just the flue outlet for when the heating system is getting used on gas. We'll quickly walk back round and go into the internal of the caravan. As we go into the caravan, you'll see the switch down here for the ENP leveling system. There is a remote control, which I'm just going to get into my hand. So when you switch the remote control on, lift the jockey wheel completely up is the easiest way to explain to you. And then there's down and then there's up and then you can press that button and you can manually override if you need to fine, fine tune it to get the level perfect. But the easiest way to explain again, make sure the jockey wheel is up because the leveling system won't work if the jockey wheel is in the downward position. Come in the door. In here, you've got your main on off switch for the caravan. You've got internal or external switch to the water pump. You've got your battery levels there and your internal water tank, which has obviously been drained. You've got your uh, alarm tab there, which is on the key ring, and you've got your Aldi heating controller here. So when the Aldi heating controller comes in, comes on rather, just takes a second. If we press menu, and we have all the features here. So at the moment, that one's your top one's your temperature. The next one down is for hot water. That is for electricity settings, and that is for gas. Okay, on off green is on okay there's also settings in here and automatic functions which if you go into the handbook you will be able to go through them if there's anything you're unsure of okay to switch the heating off all we do is hold the button in and as you can see it says off and it'll shut it down under the one of the front seats we have our mains breakers we have our 12 volt fuses which are marked up and importantly under here, hopefully you can see this, we have a yellow drain valve for your boiler. So up and down is in the drain position, which we've got it just now. Okay, and then just pull it down to close that. But in winter time, always leave that in the up position. The other thing we should always do in the winter time is leave all the taps open. So what I mean by that is pull all the taps back, make sure they're all in the open position. The tank, fresh water tank, which is under the bed, the drain valve 
is down here and it's in the drain position so that tank is also empty coming to your fridge you have the on off switch you have it on mains when you're on mains hookup you have your gas function and you have your battery for when you're driving so only when it's connected to the car and the car engine is running that's your temperature controller and that's if, if there's any faults a car you would automatically make sure your power source is correct and press the reset button there microwave which will only work when you're hooked up to mains okay i'm going to make sure all your taps are open open I would also recommend generally dropping the shower head in the winter time as well. Okay, obviously this has got an Aldi heating system, so it's a wet system, has a glycol fluid in it, so this doesn't get drained. To heat the van up, it takes a little bit longer than a traditional trimmer system, however, once it's operational, it's a far superior system and works much better. Obviously there's various um, main sockets, naturally when you cook to mains these will work, you've got your 12 volt sockets and you've got your USB points and there's varying points for satellite and for TV in the van. So it's just a kind of short and sweet video to go over the main features on the van. Um, if there's anything else you need to know we always say refer to your handbook which is in the book pack which we'll leave out for you. Uh, again anything else if you phone the after sales department um, which is the same number as the sales, but option two for after sales, we're more than happy to go out through anything with you. Uh, kind of lastly, on the motor mover, so when we've turned on the isolation key in the battery box, you've got, you'll see there's kind of two, two on off buttons. You need to hold both them on, you need to press both together to put it on, but only one to switch it off. When you put it on, let it flash and sync up. Once it's synced, then you've got, you press this one and that one, is to well, the wheels, I can't remember if it's the wheels on or off, and the opposite one will be to release it from the wheels. So that basically electronically engages the mover onto your tires. At that point, you would then, once they're onto the tires, you would manually check, or visually check rather, you would then release the handbrake and use the motor mover as you desire. Then you would press this, and then the button to take it off the wheels again, okay? So that is clearly going onto the tire, and that is clearly going off. Now I'm looking at it again as you can see a bit closer so the, the the same procedure before you when you're finished using the motor mover make sure you put the handbrake on and then you would release the mover when you're finished one of these buttons turn it off and then turn the isolation key off in the locker i hope you new, enjoy your new caravan and anything else at all you need to know please don't hesitate to give us a call and thanks once again for your business